Yo. <laughs> what the hell? Okay, whatever. Listen, you need to post a video. Well, I mean, I'm working on it. No, like, you need to get it done fast. Okay, but... Why? Because... Currently, reality as we know is fracturing. So badly that multiverses are colliding. That's how I found you. All I know for sure is that your horrendous upload schedule is causing this break in reality. Only you can stop it. By uploading a single video before the universe crumbles into pieces, you can save us all. Okay. Over the past few weeks it- oh. Over the past few months, I've been working tirelessly on many projects. Such as survival, FPS, spider thing, and hack and slash with robots, it's crazy. But my last few couple of projects have been 3D games, so I decided to switch it up a little bit and make a- Okay, enough of that, let's get to the actual video. I started this project like anyone else would, with a friggin' square, let's go! Uh, alright, reserved. Now, even a perfect work of art like this may have some issues, like the slope issue, so with a little bit of fairy dust, I fixed that right up. Next, I had to smooth up the movement, because it was just way too choppy. Then I wanted to start working on pickup, so I added this little double jump pickup that will start a timer, and in that time frame, you can double jump. I also gave him a little eyeball. I began working on grappling, and turns out it's really easy to do, but it's really hard to get right, so it looks a little jank right now, but I will improve this in the future. Next, I decided to start working on a gun. Now, this is my first time creating 2D art, so it's not the best, but I think I did pretty good. However, I had an issue. Whenever the player was facing a certain direction, the gun sprite would flip upside down because it didn't know which direction the player was facing. But this was pretty easy to fix. Now, the process of making guns in my games are usually always the same, so I'm not going to bore you. All I did was make an animation in a muzzle flash and stack those two on top of each other. This is what the gun looks like now, and I also decided to do the sound effects at the start of the project because I feel they're a lot more time consuming and it'd just be a lot easier doing them as I gradually work on the game. EXPLOSIONS I like explosions, so I decided to add an explosion barrel because I have a really good idea how it can be used in the game. The idea is that the player can use the explosion barrels to get to certain heights that they couldn't before. But as you can see, there's a lack of, um... So then, I got to work on the explosion, but it didn't look that good, so I tried to remake it, and I think the new one looks a lot better. I also took this opportunity to try and redo the grapple physics, and it looks a lot better. As a random American man once said, you can never have too many guns. So I decided to put an assault rifle in my game. And this is what the finished assault rifle looks like. Every action game needs an enemy, or at least some sort of conflict. Now whether that be a murderous vehicle or a cube guy, you still need an enemy either way. So I began working on the AI, and to be honest it's kinda stupid right now, but later on I want him to be able to do everything that the player can do. But this task will take me hours and days and weeks to complete, and wow that was really easy for some reason. Well now that the hard part is over with, I mean I guess we could just make the enemy look like an enemy because right now it's just a plain white square. And after a little bit of doodling, I came out with this design and I think it looks pretty good. Something I forgot to mention is that we put a bunch of enemies in the same room to see how they would react to each other and it's pretty funny, just watch. Okay, they're confused, they're confused, one goes over, two goes over, interesting. Hmm. They're already close. I'm all stuck having a ditty party. No. Oh! Oh, oh, oh my god! It is Mario Jump Jump! He's <laughs> yeah, so some of them became murderers and started killing each other Mario style, and there was a lot of kissing for some reason, but I can't control that. Alright, now that we have the enemy movement done, let's actually add some damage functionality. The first thing I did was draw a little hand for the enemy to attack with. Next, I needed a way to damage the players, so I made it so if you get too close to the enemy, you'll lose 20 health. I also made this little death screen, but I removed it later. Okay, for some reason, I don't add the hand actually hitting you until later on. So until then... I swear, if you tell me to make music, or sound or anything, I'm done. I need you to create a noise in the future. Interceptor Octagon!
and Ramakaza Dodecahedron. Try saying that shit five times fast. Jokes aside, huge shout out and thank you to Cosmic who helped me with this music. His new ground SoundCloud and Spotify will be in the description. Next, I decided to make the first level of the game, the tutorial. It's not much of a tutorial right now, but this is more of a testing map for right now. Later on, I'll actually add the tutorial aspect to it. Next, I added some effects to make the game look less like a five-year-old scratch game, but I need some feedback to be completely sure on things that I need to change and things that I want to keep. I spent over an hour and a half talking to people about this game and sending builds to people, and I got a lot of useful feedback. Especially from this guy named Ingoplane, he helped me out a lot and gave me the most feedback. He also has a YouTube channel, so go subscribe to that. I ultimately chalked it up to four different things. Fix the game to work with multiple resolutions. Fix double jumps not registering correctly. Make a main menu and just straight up add more content. Fixing the resolution issue was pretty easy, all I had to do was change one parameter in the project settings and it was perfectly fine after. This double jump issue occurs because it's checking if the player is in air to do a double jump. And instead of checking if the player is on floor, it checks if this ray cast is colliding. So if the player is slightly hanging off of an edge, it wouldn't detect it as a normal jump, it would detect it as a double jump. So that was a pretty easy fix as well. I began making the main menu just with three simple buttons for play, settings, and quitting the game. However, I didn't like how static it was, so I decided to make a little intro animation for it. The main menu is going to have to stay like this for a while because I have an idea for the finished main menu, but it requires the game to be done. To add more content, I decided to make a way to actually beat the level because currently there is no way to actually win. So I quickly threw together a red flag, so whenever the player touches that flag, it will beat the level. Now that we have a way to beat the level, I also had a lot of complaints of how hard it is to tell whenever you can grapple. So I added this little red dot thing that will appear over the grapple point whenever you're hovering over. I wanted this game to have two main levels, so I began working on the first level, and it looks pretty good, but it's still in work in progress. Back in the main menu, I made a little tab where you can choose which level you want to play. I also made a loading screen so that there was less lag whenever you actually joined the level. After finishing up on the first level, I began working on the second level, which requires a lot more strategy and introduces a new boss. I began working on a little intro for the game, and this is how it looked. I think this intro is probably my favorite part about this main menu. And this is the finished main menu. I really love how it turned out. I also finished up the settings menu. And I added a lot of things to the tutorial to make it actually a tutorial. A grapple is a phenomenon where the player holds R and E on a blank grapple point while moving in a certain direction. The barrel boost is not by using a firearm to fire at an oil barrel while above it. This trigger an explosion that will propel the subject into the air. Right is a species of Hellborn that has evolved to replicate certain abilities of their white cubic counterparts. They are known to be very stubborn and not easily tricked. And with that, this project is finally done and you can now download it in itch.io in the link in the description. I just want to take a brief moment and thank you guys for the amount of support I've been getting on the last few videos. My last video has half of a thousand views. I mean, that is insane. I'm incredibly sorry that this video took so long. I was just trying to finish up school, and now that school is finished, I can finally start working on videos more fluently. I was incredibly busy with final exams, but now that I'm finally done with all of that, I can finally make more content. And I have a special treat for you guys for my next upload. It's going to be a devlog series, and I'm really excited for it. And I think you guys deserve a little sneak peek on it. All right, boys. Time to lock in. Are y'all ready to get shot? Look, I'm being shot at, at the spawn bro. point. Yeah, do not fight people at the spawn point. It's only a bad for you. Alright guys, I have a I'm weird, shooting. really weird uh, keyboard setup right now. Oh shoot, Aaron's right there. Oh. Someone keeps sliding around. Got him. Wait. <laughs> oh my god, who squished down on me? And with that, thank you guys so much for watching. Please like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.